Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the uncensored GPT-4 Alpaca large language model. But before we actually get into that video, guys, please go subscribe, like, and comment anything that you want to see in upcoming videos. Also, if you haven't seen most of my videos, there's a lot of content and value that I highly recommend you check out. Everyone loves it, so you guys should definitely do so. And before you, if you want to donate or if you want to support the channel, there's a link down in the description below to do so. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. So basically, what is GPT-4 Alpaca? Well, it's a type of artificial intelligence language model that is open source and operates without any censorship. It is considered to be superior to GTP-4 in terms of its performance. And this is this remarkable LLM is has a lot of limitness as well as a possibility possibility to outshine all these other LLMs because of the fact that it's uncensored. Now, if you don't know what censorship means, there's platforms or language models such as OpenAI, OpenAI's ChatGPT, as well as Bard. And these different applications are censored to basically not formulate certain prompts that might be illegal or in certain cases might not want you to formulate certain things because it might be harmful for society whereas in this case gpt4 alpaca is a large language model that is uncensored which allows you to have unlimited creativity so in this video tutorial i'm going to demonstrate how to actually install gpt4 alpaca on your computer using ooga booga which is a funny name but it is a text generation web ui on your computer and it is a way to host the actual large language model and another option is llama.cpp which i can show as well as go briefly over on how you can actually install and use gpt4 alpaca so with that thought let's get right into the video first things first you need to check out system requirements if you do not have a strong gpu as well as a hard RAM usage for your CPU, you should definitely not be running any of these platforms, even though if it is performing good or if you're available to do so, because this requires a lot of like compatibility as well as generation to create certain prompts. So you need to make sure that you have the requirements so that it is compatible to run it fluently because it's not going to be fun running it very slowly so i highly recommend that you check out the requirements to run both of these applications obviously you don't need to download both of them but i'm just going to be showing you guys how to get the uba uga booga one as it's much easier and much more applicable to run rather than the llama.cpp however this might run really well if you have a small it runs on the cpu and it's it's also a good option so don't count like count this option out Basically, if you want to run this option, I can go over the prompts as well as like the requirements on how you can do it. It's quite self-explanatory if you go on to how to run it. There's the whole process on how to actually do it because this would require me to do a whole new video. So I'm just going to be focusing on the Uga Booga option. So first things first, what you want to do is install the actual Uga Booga installer. You want to click it and it'll be a zip folder. So what you wanna do is extract it to your desktop once you open the file. And once you have done that, you wanna open up the file and it will take you to this, it will give you these files. And in this, there's the instructions tab that shows you what you need to do. There's basically three tabs, three different instructions that you need to do. First things first, you wanna run the install bat. So what you wanna do is run it as administrator and it will ask you two different things. Is your GPU NVIDIA? Or if you don't have that option, then you can press B. It's gonna take you about 15 minutes approximately. So you just click A and a bracket and you click enter. And it'll take 15 minutes and it will then prompt you to type any key to close the command prompt. Now, what once that is completed, you work on the next option and that is download model bat. And what you want to do is click run as administrator. And basically this model is going to show you as well as prompt you to download certain different models for the text UI to actually run. So this is a $6 billion per, I mean, not billion, I keep saying billion dollar, but it's a 6 billion, 6.7 billion parameter. And basically what you do is you do the exact same thing. You click a 
bracket and install it. This one's going to take a long time because I believe it's like over 10 G or 8 GB or something approximately around that number. And once you have done that, then you will go to the next step. And first, before you actually launch the start web UI, you want to click on edit and you want to edit with your notepad. Now, what I want you guys to do is I'm going to leave this prompt in the description below, but it's going to be like this and there's going to be nothing over here. So what I want you to do is copy and paste this prompt that will help you actually run the actual application. So copy and paste it by putting a space and put this prompt in. And once that is done, click save and you can close all of this and we're almost ready. Now, what you want to do is go on to the install. Oh, no, sorry, not installer. Go on to the text generation file and then go to modules. So you're going to have all these files installed after you run the second prompt or the second step. And obviously, you're not going to see this one. But what you want to do is you want to go into the Git folder and you want to go to the actual hugging face co website for the chat gpt for alpaca file and what you want to do is go to files and versions click on these three dots it might take a while because my computer is too slow and clone the repository you click copy however you need to make sure that if you do not have git this is only possible if you have git because to copy and clone repositories you need this application to do so so make sure you have this before you actually do the copy and pasting and then if you do have it then you go on to this step and you copy it once that is done you click on this you go on this file and click cmd which is your command prompt file and what you want to do is click copy and paste and it will and you click enter and what is what that's going to do is it's going to clone the repository into the modules file and it will then load everything. Now, you're basically ready and almost on to the next step where you can actually run the application of ChatGPT for Alpaca. And what you do now is run as administrator. You click yes, it's gonna open everything up. Now, when you're at this moment, it might take a couple seconds to load up. Firstly, for me, it's not gonna actually run because my computer is not compatible. As you can see, 7.5 detected, only slow 8-point bit man like is it allowed and is supported for your gpu so it's not going to actually run for my computer so you got to make sure you have the right like compatibility to actually run this application as it's very very heavy duty and tech based so you got to make sure that you're able to have it like you want to check the requirements before running it and basically it will ask you to open up two prompts one is going to be, obviously, if you have other modules, then it, it could prompt you to open up other modules, but it will prompt you to open up. There will be a number key uh, option, and you basically select GPT-4 Alpaca, and you click it. You click one. It might, it might be one for you guys, and you put bracket, and you click enter. And what that will do is open up your prompts, your actual, what you open, I like your web UX. And it will actually open up the module, which you can see over here in this picture. You're going to see this text generation lab picture and it will show ChatGPT4 or yeah, ChatGPT4 Alpaca. And what you can do now is you can basically input as well as start generating your text to like actually start using the actual large language model, basically. And what you can also do is fine tune it with raw like files as well as models to basically get a better input and tweak with the engineering to get better responses so you can all you can do all of that using this ogobuga text generation file and that's basically a gist of how you can actually use it with text generation it's really really easy guys and that's how you can actually install it using your desktop now in terms of getting it with your getting the other way which is llama.cpp there's actually a like step-by-step -step tutorial over here if you guys want me to make another one i don't have that much time on this video but i'm gonna be i could make another video and showing you guys how you can actually install it using llama.cpp but that's basically a gist of how you can actually install chat gpt or not chat gpt gpt4 alpaca on your computer and that's basically the gist of today's video guys i hope you found this video helpful 
if you want me to do more tutorials like this i'll definitely do so please subscribe please turn on the notification bell guys and like this video and with that thought i'll see you guys next time peace out fellas